put, you know, whatever you put in your images will be placed below all of your line items. So this is a good time to go ahead and do this. So before I put all my pictures in, I'm going to put my codes in. All right, so I'm going to do my county of park. Go down to county of park, adopts. I can just do our control. So page one and page two, control, select, boom. All right, we've got those two in there. So, and you can already see, see how this did this right here? Sometimes that'll happen. And I'm, I'm a little surprised that it's happening now. Um, it, it's probably because of the load. I'm trying to record so much and so much is, is going on. But usually that happens when you import a whole bunch of photos, like we're going to do it the next step after we get the codes in. But when that happens, you literally have to go back and get rid of it, right? And then re-put it back in. So, so now we're going to go into... We'll put it back in, but see what's going to happen to it is it puts them in in the order that you put them in, right? So now we need to actually go and put that like that and put them in the right order. And so, yeah, page one, page two, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're using the 2012 IRC uh, codes here which is in this folder, and we're gonna use the, the chimney cricket, um, <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. We're gonna use the cricket and saddle code. We're gonna use the, we're not gonna use the double underlayment. We are gonna use the drip edge code. So it's control and select. We are gonna use the flashing must meet manufacturer spec. Um, we are gonna use the uh, everything else must follow uh, manufacturer specifications. Um, uh, that's actually some other things to requirement for roof coverings. Ice barrier. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the minimum venting. Um, we're going to use the rain diverter and flashing at, at change of pitch. Um, reasons why you can't lay over, even though that's kind of not necessary because they've already approved the roof here. Um, nailing pat pattern, no. Valleys, yes. We're going to include that. We're going to include the non-reuse of flashings. Um, decking, no. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put all these in and see they all showed up just nice nice and neat. So they, none of them messed up. Um, now, because though you're going to lose some of them sometimes, I don't want to lose any of my work along the way, right? So because I've gotten to this step and everything looks good, instead of moving right ahead and loading more images, like getting into the job images, I'm going to go ahead and close that. But those are not saved yet until, remember, I go up and do this, right? And just to double check, you can always go back and see how things are looking as you're coming along, resequence the line numbers, view, and let's kind of jump down here. And we should already start to see those uh, images showing up and we don't right because we don't have the images right there selected see that and so we should see them now and anyway, we should have more pages and there they are so after the last page of line items then you start to see the codes okay so and actually i do see that oh there they are so we have two per page page one page two and then boom one, two. So this is set up right now to have two images per page, which you want to do if you have a lot instead of one image per page. Um, then it has like a breakdown of all of them at the end. So, and how you can change that if you want to, you can go up here to the images tab right here and see it's set right now at two images per page. Okay. So if I wanted to, I can, I could change that out um, to one per page or four per page. Um, and then that'll, that'll determine how many pages actually get printed out, right? And so for now, I'm going to leave this, close that out, make sure everything's saved the way it needs to be. And then I'm going to load in my drone fit, uh, footage. So once you're inside of that uh, folder, you can just go up here, depending on what your system's like, just click select all, all at once, and let them all come in at once. So there's 48. Let's see if they all made it in. 
These are pretty lightweight because they're screenshots. They should make it in. I really have the problem with my camera footage. Um, but that one made it in okay. So before I get into the hardest part, the camera footage, I'm going to save that out. Just in case I lose it, because this is where it really puts a load on the system. And we're going to go into, into the photos and select all. And you can see we've got 363. And so, and I can see they're not even moving yet. There they go. So we'll just see. Like I may, you know, when they, when they really start to look like I may have to do this not during the recorded video and come back to it. Um, because, you know, sometimes you have to restart your system and everything to sort of clear up some of the other junk that you have running. Um, because this part of the program, I find, is a big, puts a big load on any system. Um, it, you you kind of have to have a bigger system sometimes working with Xactimate when you're using uh, large images and such. So, well, I'm going to actually uh, pause that at this point, and we'll come back to this area after I've gotten all the images in. Okay, so I, I went ahead and processed all of those photos and it was quite a process, it took quite a while to get them all in. And if that ever happens with you where they get stuck, I mean that's why it's key, after you get your code info, your code images in there, go ahead and cancel out of there and save it and then go back in to add your other photos. Then, then add your drone photos and then cancel out, right? And then save it, and then go back in and load the other images, right? And if you have any of them, they'll pop up and they'll, be, they'll look like this one with a, with a cross out, like cross through it, um, and they'll, they'll be stuck like that. And, and so what I had to do is, is delete those and then go back and reload the ones that it missed and then drag them into place. So it's quite a tedious process sometimes. I just want to give you forewarning on that. Um, the images of Xactimate is really an area that I believe that they, they could use some, some improvement for sure. But as you can see, I got them all in um, and they're all in order, right? So I've got my codes first, starting with the adoptions, then the actual code snippets, then the drone inspection photos of the roof overview, uh, some interior, and usually I have my interior after my exterior, but they, they just so happened that during this inspection, they were ready for me to do the interior inspection first, so I did it first. But anyway, in the order of the inspection, I have the interior in there, and then um, I have the roof, uh, or the uh, front, right, rear, left elevations, kind of walk-arounds, and then more detailed photos up close and then as I was kind of going through here I remembered these uh, and I remember that those were missing from the estimates so I'm going to go back in and just quickly add those but as you can see all the images are there and then so I'm just going to go into here on that um, yeah it was on the left elevation and I'm just going to go into ELS promise will be done after this <laughs> and solar and what I'm looking for is the, I'm going to remove it, unit price, I'm going to change that to ELE. It's per watt, so it's, uh, I'm going to remove 500 watts, and I'm going to install only TDB, install only 500 watts, all right? So detach and reset. And I'll put this right here. I will add a footnote. See attached images. Or attached photos. I'll copy that and also put it here and that's that we'll save it print have one final look at everything and we'll see how it looks view taking a while now to process the print preview um, and it'll take a little while to, to process the exporting of this particular report um, because of all the images so 
You know, but the good thing is, is that when it converts it into a PDF report, that PDF report is not going to be a large report. Like you should be able to send it, you know, in one email quite, quite simply. So, and that's one of the reasons why I like to take, even, even though we have, you know, gigabytes, quite frankly, of images, we can compress it down into a PDF report, put it with the estimate all in one report, as you see here. All right, so you've got your estimate. And then right after the estimate, you have your codes. Code snippets, then you have your drone footage. See, and it still looks pretty good. And you can also zoom in and out on a PDF uh, report as well. So kind of fast forward and then go in past the drone images and go down into some of these photos here. You see, so there's two photos per page as we covered before. But and if you come on down, there's 213 total pages, but all the images are there, breakdown at the very end, and then the sketch at the very, very end, right? And so this baby's ready to fly. This report is ready.